All right, hi guys. We're going to be talking about energy conversions, and our standard is PS 3.2, Construct a Scientific Explanation of the Transformation Between Potential and Kinetic Energy. So the nature of energy is that energy is the ability to do work. Energy is all around you. Everything you do, everything you look at, there's energy in everything, everywhere. Potential energy is the energy that an object has stored because of its position or where it is, its shape, how it maybe is smushed together or pulled apart, or the condition. So it might just be the properties of something, the stuff it contains. These things are what affects its stored energy or potential energy. The second category is kinetic energy, or the energy of an object that is due to the object's motion. So like the picture, the guy scooting down the hill on a skateboard, the basketball flying through the air, my mouth moving and sound flying out into the speaker. All of these things are moving energy, so they are kinetic energy. So let's put it together. Energy conversions is changing energy from one form to another. The law of conservation of energy is the big idea here and you must understand this so make sure this is in your head. The law of conservation of energy says that energy cannot be created or destroyed it just changes forms so it's going to change from one form of energy to another. We don't get more, we don't get less, it stays constant. We can't destroy it, we can't create it energy just transforms. So for example with potential and kinetic energy. Um, we can look at potential and kinetic energy like they're friends, they're best friends, uh, but they're also sort of opposite of each other. One loves apples and the other loves bananas. Um, so if we look at the example on the next page and we well, let's say we have 100% uh, energy. Like Ms. Butterfield said, we can't have more, we can't have less. It's always going to be 100%. So if we have 100% potential energy, then we're going to have 0% kinetic energy. But on the other hand, if we have 100% kinetic energy, we're going to have 0% potential. But we can also have those in-betweens. It doesn't have to be just 100 to 0. We can have 50% potential energy and 50% kinetic energy and everything in between there that equals up to 100%. So if we look at this picture here, if we look at the boy on the sled at the top of the hill, he has a ton of potential energy, but very little kinetic energy. He's at the very top. It's a lot of stored energy. He's not using that energy just quite yet. And then as he goes down the hill, he's decreasing the amount of potential energy he has. And as he's moving down the hill, he's increasing the kinetic energy. So potential energy goes down, kinetic energy is going up. And then finally, at the bottom of the hill, he has very little potential energy left, and the rest is kinetic energy. He ha he, his position has changed, so he's increasing the kinetic energy. This example is of a roller coaster. It's the same thing. But now we see it has high amount of potential energy at the top, a low amount of kinetic energy as they start down the hill. As they go down the hill, they're increasing the amount of kinetic energy. Um, it's gaining speed as it goes down the hill. And so at the bottom of the hill, we have a very small amount of potential energy left, but a maximum amount of kinetic energy. As they go back up the hill, they um, increase potential a little bit, but not very much. Um, so then they have low amount of potential energy and a higher amount of kinetic energy still. And our last example is a pendulum. Now the pendulum, imagine you're in a swing and you're on the playground and you're going back and forth in the swing. That moment where you pause on the back or on the front, that's where you have the maximum amount, amount of potential energy. It's the highest point. Now as you go from the highest point and you go down, you're decreasing the amount of potential energy you have, but you're increasing the amount of kinetic energy you have. So if you notice positions two and positions four, we have equal amount of potential energy and kinetic energy. So where we were at in position five, when we go down, uh, we're decreasing potential energy, increasing in kinetic, and then when we get to three, potential energy is at zero. We have a maximum amount, maximum amount of kinetic energy. 
If you have any other questions about potential energy, kinetic energy, or the law of conservation of energy, please go see your science teacher.